Hey guys, Bryce Altis here, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of the most overlooked things when it comes to cleaning your hearing aid. Regularly cleaning your hearing aids is one of the most important things that you can do as a hearing aid user. Cleaning your hearing aid not only helps maintain optimal performance with your hearing aids, but it can also extend the overall life of your hearing aid, meaning that you can use your hearing aids for several years without needing replacement. Cleaning your ear molds and having your hearing care professional replace your tubing on a regular basis is very important. And if you have wax guards, then being able to clean and replace your wax guards yourself is the single most important skill when it comes to cleaning and maintaining your hearing aids. But the second most important thing is to actually clean and maintain your microphone ports as well. All hearing aids have at least one to two microphones per hearing aid that are usually positioned on the outside of the hearing aid casing. Microphones pick up the vibrations of sound in the air around you, which the hearing aid then processes and amplifies according to your hearing prescription and your hearing aid programming. If your microphones are blocked with debris or gunk or dirt, then the microphones cannot pick up the vibrations of the sound around you, which then the hearing aid cannot amplify them in your ears accordingly. Here are five different hearing aids. Three are custom in the ear devices and two devices are worn behind the ear. Each of these devices have microphones, but the microphone ports or the openings where the microphones can access the sound around you are slightly different between them all. Here we have a receiver in the canal hearing aid, otherwise known as a RIC, and here we have a behind the ear hearing aid, otherwise known as a BTE. Modern RICs and BTEs will often have two microphones, one facing forward and one facing backwards. The front facing microphone will often have two ports or two openings towards the top and front of the device when worn on the ear, with one port being on the right and one on the left side. The back facing microphone usually only has one port but can sometimes have two depending on the hearing aid. Oftentimes, these ports are just small openings in the exterior of the device, but some BTE models may have removable and replaceable microphone filters or wind covers. For hearing aids that simply have microphone ports or small openings in the hearing aid casing, take a brush like so and brush over the openings to clean off any buildup of debris. With this hearing aid in particular being a Phonak Audeo Paradise model, the front facing microphone ports from the right and left side actually connect to each other, meaning that the bristles of your brush can actually go all the way through from one side to the other, so you can actually push any dust or debris through the port and out of the hearing aid like so. Now here we have examples of custom in-the-ear hearing aids, and these can have a variety of different microphone configurations depending on the size of the device and the hearing aid manufacturer. Oftentimes, for the smallest of these devices, there will only be one microphone and one mic port. And for this invisible in-the-canal device, the microphone is actually housed inside the battery compartment, and the port that leads to the microphone is actually this small opening near the hinge of the battery door. On slightly larger custom devices like these, there is often a mic port on the faceplate and depending on the size of the hearing aid, there will either be one or two mic ports. Depending on the manufacturer, you might have open ports like the ones we just saw on the RIC and BTE models. You might also have a small non-replaceable filter over the microphone like in the invisible in the canal hearing aid but you may also find that there is a microphone filter that looks kind of like a wax guard or wax trap that can actually be removed and replaced periodically. If you don't have a mic filter or if you have a mic filter that can't be removed, use the same method like you used with the behind the ear hearing aids by simply brushing over the openings and the ports to clean off and remove any buildup of debris. But if you have a mic filter that can actually be removed and replaced, then these need to be replaced on a regular basis just like your wax guards. For this hearing aid, there is a removable filter here, and here is a pack of replacement filters, and here is how you would remove and replace the filter.
If you are unsure of whether you have microphone filters or not, be sure to ask your hearing care professional. I've seen several patients who've had hearing aids for several years, but have never even known that their microphones are something that they should be regularly looking at and cleaning if they see that there's any buildup of debris. As a rule of thumb, I recommend all hearing aid wearers take a good look at their hearing aid, change their wax guard, clean off or brush off their microphone ports, change their microphone filters if they have them, and do a good once over and clean and check of their whole hearing aid to ensure that they get the optimum amount of performance out of their hearing aid in between regularly scheduled visits to the hearing care professional. As for today, that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or any ideas for future content that you want me to cover in a future video, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks.